Hey guys, it's Frostpack Jam Gaming here, and today we're back with The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. Um, in the last episode we just uh, took on the Wind Temple and now we're going to complete it today. So let's get right into it. Yeah. No. Oh yeah, we've got some more Knight's Chest. I don't know what they're exactly called, but yeah. You know what I mean. And now we're going to free Manaka today. Because he's, he's, he's a lonely boy up there. Oh, maybe we can just go over that way by using the thing. Compass, yay. Something we do not need. Oh, by the way, um, anyone that's um new to these uh, videos, uh, welcome. Sorry if it's um <clears throat> if I'm really quiet. I don't know. I'm just being really focused. I'm just. Yeah, I know. Yeah, how lovely. That fell on me. <laughs> Joy pen. Now we need to get my knocker down there. To plant those seeds. And see what happens there. I think here's like the deepest part of the... I think I need more arrows than I do need bloody bombs. I haven't even used any in this dungeon, I don't think. I oh, know I've used some. So I don't... Would you really count that though? Where the at though? We need to go to the bottom though. Like we, we got something drastic to do. No way you get a monarch, I'll tell you that much. Idiot. The boss of this temple is really easy. Nothing to really fret over. I think I had to backtrack on one of these stages. It's so painful when I'm going down the stairs, it's like so slow. Him flying is more efficient than him walking. Okay. 
I'll be actually getting some headphones that are really good. And I'll be like, you won't be hearing that echo if there is an echo. I normally hear my an echo during the recording, but I don't know where the hell it's coming from. But it just must be the sound trying to escape. Well, this puzzle is really easy. If they won't do this, won't stop trying to climb everything. What? All you have to do is um, block these spikes from getting anywhere. Once the, one, like they're blocked off, so you can push the next block. I normally just like to lock it in place. Like, and then you have to grab this block, push it. It's time consuming, but that's what you need to do to get your stuff done. Am I missing the boss key? I mean, I should have got it, but... Oh, well, I don't mind backtracking. Oh, boots, yeah. That, that just means this puzzle's resetted. Did I get the boss? No, I haven't. Well, I've been to every room. There's got to be more to the dungeon because I don't remember getting the boss key. Well, there wasn't any more to the thing I went to before, like the other area. That was the... Well, see, that, that box two of them, so I got that out of the way. Is there, is there something we missed? Floor two. Yeah. But would we have to do the puzzle again? We might have to. Well, we get this out of the way. You must be so stupid. The knock is literally right there. You just... I don't know, the boss key. <laughs> well, it looks like I have to go back and do that puzzle again. Is this the only stone? If this doesn't lead to the boss key, then I don't know what else.
I got my stuff. I forgot to take my sword out. Yeah, I got all the chest plates. Sweet. I got three of them, which is good. So that's like... That's 17 now, sweet. So we can get, I think, all of them by the next episode, really. And then we can get the ultimate spin attack. Yeah, okay, we've got the boss key now. Let's go. Normally they would drop the chest plate, which is a, a high rare rate, I think. Link, I'm so getting annoyed of you not grabbing onto it when you should. Bam bam. Okay. He doesn't climb on Beetle's bolt, he always climbs. I don't know, it's my fault for probably doing it, I guess. I'm just on a roll right now, so I might as well get it over and done with. I don't mind the temple, it wasn't that hard. Once you get used to it, it's like super easy. Link, stop climbing it. Link, I said stop climbing it. I literally pushed A. I feel like when I praise the game, it just wants me to hate it. I'm like, what? Come on, man. Just to make sure it's in line. And it's not in line. I think you should be able to climb blocks, like to get on them with iron boots on. Like, imagine how heavy the, the gravity would be with those blade boots. There you go, get that out of the way. Filming this around nine o'clock. Now, nah. early in the morning. I should start recording like three-ish. I could. I don't even have the guts to do that, really. Once I start getting more popular on YouTube, then I will. Last power up for the Master Sword, let's do it. Let's do it to it. This boss is probably the hardest boss in the game. Like, that bird boss is pathetic in comparison. You just have to be smart about this one. And when it tries to like load you in, don't go in there. It's just like the Flower boss from the second dungeon.
this is a really good adversary. But I am fine. I got granted suit and free fairies. I'm more than prepared. I don't know why I'm trying to hype this up as the biggest battle in the world. It's so pathetic. You ready? God. You had to fight this again, which shouldn't be that hard, but yeah, we had to fight it again in tell, which won't be then into the next two episodes, I think. The locking system is so dumb. I'm trying to lock onto here. I'm trying to lock onto the tongue, dude. Nearly later. Good try, though. Hey, where did you come from? Ooh. It's really easy. You just Got to get space. It's the most important thing. Ooh. Yeah, and when he comes out. Dude, camera angle's weird. What? I did not run into that. Whatever. That's it. That's pathetic. That is so easy. Unlike that stupid little snake boss. That stupid like flying snake boss from Sonic Frontiers. Oh yeah, we're, we're supposed to do this in the next episode. Well, it doesn't matter. It's not even an hour yet. By the time I edited it. Link's really excited, look at him. Good job, Link. Now we're well and truly ready to take on Ganon. Well, we need a Triforce first. Giggity. Oh, you might just show Dreddy. Link, look at it. 
The master sword. It's powered up to its fullest extent. The master sword has returned to its blade once again. Houses the power to repel evil. The sword of the one true hero is revived at last. Link, I have fully restored the power to repel evil to your master sword. And my ancestors are not satisfied. I shall continue praying to the gods here. Link, please step into the light and return to the above ground. May the winds of fortune be at your back. Oh, Chucks. You know what? That's probably the best last words. To Link. It made it seem like I, he's dead. <laughs> Maybe he's not. I see. So the first second fortress is already. Uh, like a molting snake that catches off its dead skin. That place is so empty and quiet and once one can almost hear the echo of dead leaves falling the, to the cold, cracked ground. Why? What's Alice you? What? Lose that long face. The monsters are gone from the world. Doesn't that make you happy? A little happy. It doesn't matter. He's happy nonetheless. Link, I have troubling news. Ganon has not shown, him, uh, shown himself above the seas since Valu unleashed his fury and wrath upon him. And what's worse, there is, no cr there is not a creature stirring in his base of operations in, the in this world, the Forsaken Fortress. I cannot imagine how it's possible yet. I cannot shake this forbidding feeling I have about Princess Zelda. Link, you must search for all the Triforce Shards so that we can head back to Hyrule without delay. That technically is a delay because we're finding the Shards. Alright, um, now let's do it. Well, anyways guys, thank you so much for watching this episode. Um, yeah, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.